Hello guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. One of the most irritating issues you can ever face in your iPhone is that your phone shows a notification that says your iPhone storage is almost full every few minutes after installing iOS 8 in beta. Well, in this video we'll show you some solution tips how to fix this issue easily and effortlessly in a minute. Let's get started. For the first method, we'll need to uninstall what apps from our iPhone. To find out what app uses how much memory space, simply open the Settings app on your iPhone and head to General, then Launch Storage in a Cloud Usage menu, and then find and tap on Manage Storage option. Here you will see a list of the applications that are installed right on your device along with the memory space they use. If you find out that an unused app taken up a large chunk of your memory space, simply tap on the app icon and select delete app option to get rid of the application right from your device. For the second tip, we'll clear cache files in Safari right from our iPhone. To do that, all that you need is to launch the Settings app and then open the Safari browser preferences. Here you need to scroll all the way down to find and tap on the option that says Clear History and Website Data to clear Safari cache files. Photos and videos are known to be consuming a lot of memory space on our iPhone and there are some ways to come over this issue. Basically, there are two ways how to deal with this challenge. The first choice is to upgrade your iCloud to iCloud Plus option. You can choose the plan as you need. After upgrading it, go to Settings, tap on your Apple ID and choose iCloud menu. Here, head to Photos and turn on Sync this iPhone option, then choose Optimize your iPhone storage and it will save many space right on your device. Or you can follow the second path when it is needed to delete media files that you no longer need on your iPhone. For that, launch the Photos app on your iPhone and select all the videos and photos that you don't wish to keep anymore. Then tap on the trash bin icon on the lower right corner and don't forget to empty the recently deleted album. For the next tip, we'll reset all settings right on our iPhone after upgrading to iOS 8 in beta. In case if the above solutions didn't work for you properly, you may want to try resetting all the settings on your iPhone for the matter. Proceeding with this option will bring all the settings back to the factory state and you can start afresh. It's so simple and easy to reset all the settings at once on your iPhone, all thanks to the settings app again. Open the Settings app and head to General, then scroll all the way down and find and tap on Reset and Transfer option and tap on Reset All Settings feature. Then simply follow the instructions displayed on your screen and you will have successfully reset all the settings to the default. Please note that all the media files will remain right on your device. Last but not least, if none of the above methods helped you, we'll recommend you an efficient and easy to use tool AnyFix which can help you to reset your iPhone in one click even if you don't have any tech knowledge. For that, simply download and run AnyFix utility right on your PC or Mac computer and connect your iPhone to it by USB or Type-C cable. Then in a pop-up dialog window, choose Reset Device and hard reset option. Next, click to download firmware button. But please know that you need to be connected to a stable network during the whole procedure. After firmware downloading is completed, click on stored reset device option. Then wait for a while patiently till the whole process is to be done. When the utility shows reset completed screen, set up your iPhone as the new one without any annoying and irritating notifications. Hope that all the tips were kinda useful. Don't forget to subscribe on our channel, like this review and share it with your friends on the social nets. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Peace.